Hey guys, Tarek Merriface here, and this is Procrastination at its finest. This channel has always considered aviation education a huge priority. You can see this in Mayday Talk, Incredible Aviation Facts, and my countless tutorials. So today, I'd like to try something out. I'd like to share with you what aviation research has come to find. I'm basically putting what's on the research paper into a short and simplified video that allow you to understand what can be learned from scientific investigations. I thought it would be appropriate to start off with a research discussing case study training, since my main series on this channel is Mayday Talk, videos where I talk about accidents or near accidents, what the circumstances were and how they could be avoided. In fact, reading this paper has now made me change the format of Mayday Talk slightly for the future episodes. This research paper was written by O'Hare, Mullen and Arnold and took place at the University of Otago in New Zealand. Their objective was to determine what sort of case study training would be more efficient to teach pilots how to avoid getting caught in an IMC related accident. So here goes, I hope you enjoy it and find this useful. 26 non-pilot undergraduates at the university were given basic training to learn VFR rules, which involved watching a 5 minute video and receiving a sheet with all the rules. After that, the participants were given four case studies of reports that related to VFR flights entering IMC. Two of the reports were of an incident with a positive outcome, and the other two were of an incident with a negative outcome. Now that's when things change a little. Half the participants were given a free recall task. These guys were given a piece of paper and were turned to write down everything they could recall about the case studies they had just read. The other group was given the reflection task. These guys were given a sheet of paper which asked them to answer five questions that were designed to make them think about why, what, and how each of the incidents occurred. The first question was, briefly list the pilot's actions leading up to and during the incident. The second question asked for the reason or cause for each of the actions that took place. The third asked whether each action was appropriate or not and whether it contributed to the final result of the incident. The fourth question asked the participants to come up with a better alternate action they would have taken had they been the pilot. The final question asked was if there were any guidelines or principles that they could apply in the future in the case of a similar event, what would they be? Everyone then got a chance to play with Cessna 172 on X-Plane. Participants were taught basic piloting skills and how to read some of the instruments. The scenario that was implemented on the test flight was a short flight with deteriorating visibility. The flight path plan overflew four other airfields. Five nautical miles away from the destination airfield, visibility drops to one nautical mile and the terrain rises from 600 feet to 3,000 feet, making a crash inevitable. The investigators wanted to see how far participants would fly into the bad weather before calling off the flight. The participants were given a right the participants were given a written brief about how to proceed with the flight and were encouraged to make decisions as a pilot should in real life. They also had a piece of paper reminding them of the VFR rules at hand during the flight simulator test. Now this is a truly amazing victory. The participants who did the free recall task performed terribly. Half of them failed to cancel the flight and crashed right into the mountain. The other half cancelled the flight much later on, well after they were already in IMC conditions. The average visibility for the time they stopped the flight was just over 1 nautical miles. The group who had done the reflective task on the other hand had no crashes. Every participant made the right decision to stop the flight, with an average visibility at stopping time of just over 2 nautical miles. So what does this research tell us? Well, it tells us two things. The first is that reflective recall, or using guided questions to reflect over case studies, is an efficient way to improve decision making in pilots. The other thing it teaches us is that the outcome of the case study accidents are irrelevant to whether the person learns from it, as long as they use reflective recall. This kind of research is key for accident investigation, for pilots, and for flight training organizations. After reading this paper, I have learned that when reading a case study, or even just reviewing a flight we've just finished, we should ask ourselves five questions. Briefly list the actions that were taken, why were these actions taken? Was the action appropriate and did it help or worsen the situation? What should or would I have done better? What important lesson have I learned today that I can use in the future?
Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it or found it useful in some way. Uh, don't remember the five questions, very important. Try and incorporate them into your learning process if you can. Um, and yeah, that was me procrastinating. Uh, at least I didn't set up the whole studio light stuff, but still procrastinating. Um, if you like this, make sure to comment, share, subscribe, etc, etc. Um, like, obviously. Uh, sharing is what really helps me, because the more people see it, the better for me. So, sharing is great. Sharing is caring. We all say, right? Anyways, I'm Tiger Mariface. I'll see you guys next time, and happy flying.